Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredients. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today the topic is called Why Educators uh, Use Highly Visualized Teaching Materials for Their Lessons. <laughs> Today, the finding and research was done by Simonson in 1983 in Simonson's article called the Designing uh, Instructional uh, Media for Attitudinal Outcomes. In some part of his article, he wrote, highly visualized teaching material was perceived as most realistic by the learners. For uh, more information on material for teaching adult students, please watch the video from the link above okay let's get back to the topic i think this is quite a big statement because it educates us and teach us how to teach effectively to our students and learners using highly visualized teaching materials so it is true the bright color pictures the uh, interesting graphics and also the highlights is no doubt to trigger the brain cells for learning and therefore enha enhance the process of learning because it it is all in the fact that the information processing decoding and the, the internal synthetic process is all working together for the highly visualized lessons interesting okay that is why the media is considered as the one very important career and very effective career. It helps to change the attitudes of the learners and the students, which I think is very true. For alternate suggestions and advices, please put me through the link below and I will give you the insights into what you need to know in your profession and your organizations. Isn't it good? And also, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos as I bring you new topics every Monday and also so that you will not miss anything. Okay, let's back to the topic again. Learners who experience a purposeful uh, emotional involvement and also arousal during the uh, instructional process, instructional um, time and are likely to have their attitude change toward the directions which are uh, advocated as the purpose of, of the medicated message. What does it mean? Think, okay? You can watch the video time and time again and you will, you definitely can make meaning out of it. Okay, I'll just move on to the next, next um, message about the topics. And another one is, um, actually Simon suggests that the minimal arousal is more advisable than the maximal arousal in terms of highly visualized teaching materials. Why? Because maximal arousal will um, be, will help us in, make the students stay in a state of tension, which is very result as um, it's not effective as um, those minimal arousal in terms of learning process, in terms of learning. And also strong fear producing appeal were not as effective as changing the attitude as were more moderate appeals in terms of highly visualized teaching materials. So the things the um, audience are motivated by the to ignore the uh, importance of threat and in order to reduce the tension uh, being left by the extreme highly visualized the teaching materials in the lesson and also when an individual intention he or she was try to reduce the tension by ignoring it. Very important secret. So, when you give them the message, you give them the lessons, and in terms in in the maximum arousal, so highly visualized materials, the message will tend to be ignored or get passed by. In another way, when you introduce less arousal lesson, the message is tends to be remembered, and the learning process is um is achieved. In most cases, because the less uh, less tension arousal um, teaching materials is because the 
Learner will think and recall about the present image while you're presenting the, um, the lessons or after the lessons and they will try to make meaning out of it and thus the important message is remember and therefore the mission of learning is accomplished mission accomplished okay that's the secret so I think the article of Simon says actually is very useful because it helps us to know how uh, learners information processing uh, internally and also internally connectively how they present the um, um, you know uh, information how they process information while the educators presenting the highly visualized teaching materials in the lesson and also is a useful information piece of information for us to know to uh, realize how we can teach our student effectively and um, the the process of learning is therefore carried out in this way very effective isn't it okay for awesome suggestions and advices please uh, put me through the link with the link below and i will give you awesome insights into what you need for your profession and your organization Magic. also please subscribe to subscribe to my channel and my like my videos and also i will bring you new videos every monday so that you will not miss anything isn't it good okay that's all for my uh, my topic today and uh, it's a short one please stay tuned every thurs uh, every monday as i bring you new topic and also stay safe and until next time